For years, Tesla has made the most American-made car, at least by volume. Uh, and by percentage, we're talking North America, we're talking parts. I'm not sure how all the calculations are done, but some new numbers are out, and they are unsurprising. I'm going to have a quick stroll through it with my good friend Randy Kirk, and we will figure out what on earth is going on. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Oh, 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 oh. Have you heard this, Randy? Have you seen it? Well, I did. I saw the I saw some releases on this, and we've again, as you pointed out, this is not a terribly new idea. It's been going on for quite some time now that Tesla is the most American car. I'm not sure how many folks out there recognize it. I've had people ask me, oh, aren't those made in China? I see. I mean, I mean, they do make them in China. Yes. This one wasn't. This one was made in California, but all right. According to a recent NHTSA filing of which vehicles contain the most North American parts, Tesla's vehicles are, unsurprisingly, the most North American made vehicles, specifically includes parts produced and sourced from the US and Canada. Guys, there's only three countries in North America. I feel you left one out. Ah, because the numbers for this whole list would change dramatically if you used actual North America. Yes. The, the Mustang Mach-E is made in, according to this list, not North America. Right. <laughs> Maybe NHTSA thinks everything south of San Diego is Brazil. I don't know how that works. Vast majority of Tesla's part content is produced within the US and Canada. Tesla holds a tie for first place with Honda, the Model 3, and all wheel and rear wheel in first place alongside the Honda Ridgeline and Trail, uh, and trail Sport. Oh, Trail Sport, with 75% of their parts being made in North America. Interesting that the rear wheel drive, because that had a battery from China, so I am not sure how reliable this is. And that car's been discontinued. Yeah. So here's the list of uh, Tesla's lineup. Interestingly, the Cybertruck, much less uh, US and Canada made than I expected. Yeah. And I would love to know, does this list go by part count or by dollar or by weight or by volume? I've never heard an answer to that, and I can't find it. If you know, pretty please let me know. Because if we're going by parts, then each battery is a part, isn't it? So right there, Tesla's got thousands of parts that were made in either Texas or Nevada. Yeah. And are we counting the minerals within them? Are we going all the way to the mineral level? Yeah. Because that seems like it would be a pretty weird way to do it. It took it'd be, it'd be complicated. I know that, you know, I've imported parts from all over the world and I know that sometimes you are trying to determine the country of origin to figure out what your tariff is going to be on that or your duties, tariffs, whatever on that incoming part. And so, and you're also trying to decide what the label is that's going to go on your product. So in order to say it's made in America, it has to be 50% or more of the actual uh, raw material combination of raw materials parts and labor has to all be in the in the United States. And so this becomes a, it becomes complex even on the smallest item. Some, you know, you know, famously, you know, some of the businesses I've been in, these are just simple plastic parts compared to an automobile, figuring out, like you just said, what so what if the battery is the battery raw material comes out of Australia, it goes to China to be refined then goes back to someplace, maybe to Korea, <laughs> to be made into a, an actual cell, and then comes to the United States where it's put into a pack. I, yeah. I, was, I toured a factory in China many years ago where they made clothing. And one of the things they were doing was they would receive fabric from Japan, cut it and finish each piece, but not put them back together. They'd ship it back to Japan and they would do the final assembly of the pants yes. uh, to make made in Japan with Japanese cotton or whatever it was, uh, clothing. Right. Very, very silly. Uh, Cybertruck versus other trucks. We felt the Cybertruck deserved its own category. Doesn't hold the crown for the most North American truck. That goes to Honda Ridgeline. Hmm. Interesting. It does hold second place. Other EV trucks are far less North American. The Sierra at 36% and the F-150 Lightning at 29%. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's, again, I would very much like to know how you determine this. Is the battery one part or thousands of parts? <laughs> and again, is it by value? Because I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. 
So let's take a look at our, uh, so I have yet to see a list putting them all together. This one is a little bit out of date. This is from June, but it gives you an idea of where you're at and it doesn't show the percentages because why would it, it yeah. why would it do that for me? Model Y, Honda Passport, ID4, Model S, Honda Odyssey, Honda Ridgeline, Camry, Jeep. Hey, they got one on the list. <laughs> Model X and the Lexus TX. Interesting huh. that uh, I don't know why you'd call your Lexus a, a Texas, but okay. And the Cybertruck was not on this list yet. It had not uh, been uh, list, been detailed. Oh, come on. That was a good one. <laughs> and yeah, you can see the, the list falls off precipitously from there. Any, uh, any thoughts on, on that list and who's missing? Uh, well, you know, the, well, of course the ones that are missing are General Motors and Ford and a lot of, uh, Chrysler, if you will, Dodge and, and Chrysler. Vehicles. How many divisions are left? I think Plymouth is gone, right? So we're just dodging. Oh, we got Jeep of the Ram old, and Ram of the old Chrysler of the Chrysler lines. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I didn't see much of those, and I certainly didn't see Eagle. Much, not much from General Motors or Ford either. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, interestingly, because we're talking American made, do you know that most semi trucks are built locally mm -hmm. in whatever country they're going to be sold because they're bulky and shipping them would be a real hassle. Better to just build them there. So I decided to pull up the footprint of Kenworth, Kenworth Renton plant. Mm. And I checked square footage, mm -hmm. <laughs> ridiculous, uh, 380,000 square wow. feet. Wow. Strikes me as a bit low, doesn't it? Yeah, it's only fifteen times as big as my factory <laughs> was the one I had. Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't that isn't that surprising? Yeah, that's a small uh, factory. <laughs> yeah, so this uh, user helpfully uh, said, "All right, let's overlay it on the on the factory itself." And this little section is my cutout. This is the new Tesla semi factory that's going up. Uh, yes, with the expected footprint. A little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit. Has a bit more bulk. Well, I don't think Kenworth is making 40000 or 50000 a year, right? I don't think they're anywhere close to that. They are among the bigger manufacturers, but it doesn't take much to get on that list. Yeah, I don't think and it's anything. Any yeah, so I want to say it's uh, somebody had looked it up and <laughs> found an AI answer that uh, said something like 25000 Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, of course, everyone is having their own conversations, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> GM sold 6.2 million cars last year worldwide with 39 factories. Mm. Ooh, mm. 39. Right. I know I had said before that Ford has 60 assembly plants and someone pointed out that, no, it's actually much fewer. Uh, a lot of them have been closed. Right. And uh, it's still, still getting around two million ish out of four factories is, is quite impressive. Yes. <laughs> uh, and if you look at the efficiency of Shanghai, nine million square feet, million a year production, yeah. nine square feet per car per year. Wow, that's like a meter squared per car per year. Yeah, and you and I talked about it a couple of weeks ago. I think the the actual capacity right now is at least four point six million. Uh, if all four factories were fully up fully running, fully doing everything they could, they could get to it. I think we figured 4.6. Well, this is Return of the Jedi, because even though the Death Stars aren't complete, they are quite operational. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so that makes us the good guys, right? That's it. Mm. That's exactly right. Not, not sure my metaphor held up in that regard. How do you feel about these numbers of most American made? Well, I think it's fun. I think it's, you know, I'm the marketing guy, right? That's what I've done my entire life. And so if I can say I'm American made, I'm going to certainly say it. I'm going to probably put my little sticker on there. Uh, but given that Tesla doesn't do any advertising of any consequence at all, I'm not sure how much it matters because... You got to tell the story if you're going to have the, you know, if you're going to have the benefit. Um, so, and, and by the way, just to be sure that your audience understands, I am not putting Tesla down for not doing advertising because if there's anybody in the world who's a genius at marketing and getting the word out, it's Randy. It's, no, 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 no. It's, <laughs> it's our fearless leader, Elon Musk. Mm. So I would, uh, 
give you props for saying what you just said correctly, which is there is no advertising of any serious consequence. Yeah, there's, um, I've you know, there was a print ad in an airport somewhere. There was a, a little something in a newsletter because they, you know, helped the event out or something like that. And in some markets, there is some limited advertising. And there's been a, a trial of some online advertising. GM spends a billion a year. Ford spends a billion a year. That's a lot of money, you guys. That's too much. That's hundreds of dollars per car. Just give me the hundreds off. I'll do that instead. And you can argue that the big events are marketing, and I'd say that they are. Uh, you can argue that the referral program is marketing, and it's quite expensive. Uh, but if you're going to pay someone to advertise, I'd rather it be the people who are using the product and enjoying the product and all that. So I think that's quite different. I will say that. Also, next Monday, Veterans Day, I will be in Auburn, Washington for the Veterans Day Parade. I will be participating in the parade once again. And our club president for Washington, for the Tesla Owners Club of Washington, uh, is uh, has a, a vinyl that she puts on the hood that says, Most American Made Car. Ah. Because uh, it is. And that's the thing that she wants people to understand. And uh, I don't know why we're still doing the parade. It's a little silly. <laughs> but this year there will be cyber trucks with us. And I will have by far the least cool of the Teslas in the parade. If you're in Auburn, Washington, come check it out. And because uh, we've got a second here, did I tell you that the little town of Auburn, Washington, something like 80,000 people in this city, has the nation's second largest Veterans Day parade. Wow. How? How do you do that? How does it happen? The large, well, large by number of people watching, by length of uh, number of number of uh, you know uh, people in the parade, number of bands. It is, I mean, how does it? How it is yes. It is largest by all those metrics. Oh, it is okay. hours long. It is hours long. It has, you know, the military is there, of course. They will come out to these. Uh, the flyovers, of course. The, you know, senators, governors, Congress people, they all come to this one because it does have the most marching bands of any parade. Because decades and decades ago, the city of Auburn said, you know what? We should host the state marching band competition, competition. and we should do it on Veterans Day weekend. So not only do you get to compete, but you get to be in a parade, a parade with like 30 marching bands. And if you wish to have a marching band for your Veterans Day parade, there are, I think, two universities that have one and none of the high schools are available because they're all here. I have been to so, marching band competitions. I've watched my son participate in marching band competitions. I'd rather not. <laughs> The beauty is the parade is so long, you can just catch part of it and still get yes. more than the full experience. You guys, you guys, what are we doing? We're hanging out. We're having fun. What did I miss? What did I misunderstand? How much does it matter if Tesla is the most uh, American made in North America, the most Chinese made in China, the most German made in Germany? I would argue it matters a lot because keeping your parts close to your manufacturing is uh, risk reducing, cost reducing. It can have a lot of benefits, uh, but everybody else, you know, like, subscribe, stay tuned and juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots uh, on the next one. Yeah.